What are dApps? In the world of decentralization, dApps play a critical role. For anyone ready to venture into an exploration of Bitcoin, Ethereum, decentralized finance in general, or digital art, it will be an important part of your process to understand what dApps are, how to use them, what the benefits are, and also the drawbacks. So let's get into it. But first, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications so you never miss a show or update. What are dApps? The term dApp stands for Decentralized Application. They are digital applications or programs that were created, exist, and are run on a peer-to-peer, P2P, or blockchain network of computers instead of a single computer. They are outside the control and oversight of a central authority like a government or other governing body. dApps are also often referred to as dApps and are usually built on the Ethereum platform. They can be used for a wide range of purposes, from gaming and finance to social media. Let's stop for a minute and make sure you understand some of this lingo. Blockchain. Blockchain technology is a distributed database that is shared among the nodes of a computer network. Blockchain stores information electronically in a digital format. This differentiates it from a typical database in the way the data is structured. Blockchain collects information together in groups known as blocks, which have certain storage capacity and as each block is filled, it is closed and linked to the previously filled block, forming a chain. All cryptocurrencies and decentralized apps are run using blockchain technology, as it is virtually impossible to hack and change because the data is not held in a single location or mainframe, like typical databases. Ethereum. Ethereum is a platform run entirely on blockchain technology. It is the primary competitor to Bitcoin in terms of cryptocurrency and is even more competitive when it comes to other services like digital art, video games, and decentralized finance. Examples of dApps. Some examples of dApps are BitTorrent, Tor, and Popcorn Time. All are run on computers that are part of a P2P network, which means multiple participants are consuming content, feeding, or seeding content, or doing both. Cryptocurrencies are all run on dApps so they can operate on a public, open source, decentralized environment free from any overarching governing body. Any person can create a dApp and put it on a blockchain, but once it's on the blockchain, it cannot be altered, not even by the person who created it. This is the very nature of decentralization. It is pure democracy. Advantages of dApps. The largest advantage of dApps for users is the promise of privacy and user security. Users do not have to enter all of their personal information to participate. Instead, dApps use something called a smart contract, the main favorable function of Ethereum. With smart contracts, two users enter into an agreement with a certain set of conditions. Once those conditions are met, the contract is fulfilled. Because the agreement between the two parties is written into lines of code on a blockchain, it cannot be altered. The code controls the execution and the transactions are trackable and irreversible. DAPs are also useful when it comes to free speech. With the widespread concern over censorship on social media in recent years, a DApp would come to the rescue as there is no centralized authority to instill censorship. No single user could delete or block messages. Disadvantages of DApps. The biggest concern with DApps is the potential inability to scale effectively. If a DApp requires significant computations and overloads a network, Network congestion will ensue, causing trouble for all users and the application in general. It can also be challenging to develop a user-friendly interface. The key to most apps is their ease of use and convenience. If app creators on decentralized platforms cannot compete at the level of standard application developers, users will be less likely to jump in and participate, making the apps less likely to be successful in the long term. The final challenge with dApps is the difficulty in making modifications. Most applications require regular updates and enhancements to correct bugs or just upgrade the application overall. Blockchain, however, as we discussed, is highly resistant to change and modification, presenting a difficult-to-overcome issue. In the end, dApps are still largely experimental and theoretical, as is much of the decentralized world. If there's one thing we can rely on, it is human ingenuity in the face of seemingly impossible challenges, and I would be hard-pressed to bet against the ability of dApp developers to overcome the obstacles they face today. To sum up, dApps are decentralized applications using blockchain technology that allows users privacy and the opportunity for free speech. 
they are still largely experimental and as a result do come with some challenges. It will be interesting to see how this region of the decentralized world progresses. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications so you never miss a show.